From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. Hey, good evening, folks. Brian Wilson here in for Fred Gossage this evening. Decent conditions across the area, just hot and humid, continuing with that pattern here of, well, what you'd expect for mid to late July, consistent mid to upper 90s across the area this afternoon and evening. We'll cool it off just a little bit, though, as we head through tonight. That's to be expected. But just like the last several nights, it's humid out there even still. As we head into tonight, we'll take a look at conditions of what we have to look forward to here over the next several hours. Only a few very isolated showers possible, summer hit or miss type stuff. Nothing that's going to wash out the rest of our evening. And then you can see that cool down starting to happen. We're still, though, near 80 as we head into midnight and beyond. So we're not cooling down that much. And with those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, well, there's still that humidity across the area. So if you're a star photographer, want to go out for one, it's going to be cloudy. For two, it's going to be humid. So just going to be kind of gross out there. That's about what you'd expect, though, for end of July and heading into August. And then as we head into tomorrow, we start warming back up pretty quickly, about as you'd expect, back into the 90s for our Saturday. Long term, looks pretty decent. I don't think we're going to have any too huge rain chances to look forward to, but I do think we start picking up some moisture that might give those chances a run for the money as we head towards the end of the weekend and into the work week. Otherwise, though, a little bit of a frontal passage, not much to talk about there. We're actually in a fairly calm pattern for the next couple days, so it might start to get a little more active as we head into the next work week. So, you know, we'll keep a close eye on that, see how that evolves. But in the meantime, I don't think there's going to be any particular day of a washout, at least right now. Of course, we're keeping on models, uh, keeping our eyes on the models rather to see if anything evolves in favor of rain. But right now, I think we're kind of in a drier pattern compared to what we've seen over the last several weeks or so. Temperature trend over the next five days shows that hot temperature pattern kind of just sticking around, to be honest with you. I think some of these days might even be a little bit hotter. We're seeing some consistent mid to upper 90s as we head into tomorrow and into Sunday as well. So we'll keep an eye and see if those trends don't go up as well. But nevertheless, 90s, 100. At that point, you're only talking a five degree difference. It's not going to make a huge difference if you're going out there and experiencing it yourself. It's going to be hot. It's going to be pretty humid out there as well. So stay hydrated over this next week and, uh, you know, just do the stuff that you'd expect from living in July and the southern United States, right? We've all been through this before. It's hot. We got high pressure across the area. You know what to do. Stay safe out there as we head over the next several hours into tomorrow and into the rest of the weekend as well. So there's those temperatures I was talking about getting down to the lower 70s by the early morning. Going to be a little bit humid out there. Might be some dew on the grass, maybe a little bit of fog, but you know what? A nice morning as we head into the weekend. And then as we head into the work, talking the extended term, I think we're doing all right. So for tomorrow, uh, let's go ahead and just call it near 100, to be quite honest with you, because you're talking a three, four degree difference at most. Check up there at Columbia. You're at 99 for the high tomorrow. Same in Savannah, 99 degrees. Lawrenceburg, you're at 96 with a few isolated storms possible. Rain chances aren't particularly high, but they're not zero as well. Again, thunder roars go indoors or if you see lightning, you know, just go ahead and take it easy. Go inside for a few minutes. So, you know, nothing you're not too used to. Summertime storms, heat, humidity, same old, same old. Hopping across the state line, much of the same. Shoals, we'll call it 98 there, near 100. Shemingo and Iuka, you guys are at 97 as well, so you have to keep an eye out there. See if we don't start seeing more triple digits in northwestern Alabama, northeast Mississippi as well. Big picture, looking hot, looking more consistent, looking like those isolated rain chances continuing through the week and beyond. Notice rain chances start to go up a little bit as we head through midweek and beyond. We're keeping an eye on that. That's what I was talking about in terms of the extended picture where we start kind of seeing more storms starting to pop up. We're keeping the chances a little bit lower right now as we get more data in. We'll see if that evolves here over the next several days as more data comes in. But as of right now, I'm just kind of thinking as we head into the first week of August, we keep these isolated rain chances. We keep this heat. And well, it's about what do you expect for this time of year. Thanks for watching this forecast update and God bless.